Hello everybody, and today I'm going to be looking into the pagan god Moloch, or Molech. And what you see on the screen is a statue that last year, in 2019, was allowed to be displayed at the Colosseum in Rome. And this was obviously negatively received by the people. You know, a lot of people were apparently sacrificed for their beliefs and this god here happens to be a god of child sacrifice, um, often depicted with Illuminati symbolism. So obviously what you see on this statue, we have the all-seeing eye right there. We have a, a hexagram, star, okay? You have the, the horns. So we understand that there's different symbolism that goes along with this, this God and a lot of people believe this is a God that people are still praising today, people like Hillary Clinton for instance. So let's keep going. Next we're going to take a look at the definition for Moloch. It says he is a Canaanite deity associated with the, in biblical sources with the practice of child sacrifice. The name derives from combining the consonants of the Hebrew Melech, which means king, with the vowels of Boshet, which means shame. The later, the latter often being used in the Old Testament as a variant name for the popular god Baal. Moloch in art and culture from Wikipedia says in John Milton's Paradise Lost, 1667, Moloch is one of the greatest warriors of the fallen angels, and we can learn about the fallen angels a bit from the Book of Enoch. It says, first, Moloch, horrid king, besmeared with blood of human sacrifice and parents' tears, though for the noise of drums and trimble and tim timbrels loud, their children's cries unheard that passed through fire to his grim idol. Him, the Ammonite, worshipped in Rabbah and her waitry plain, in Argob and in Basan to the stream of utmost Arnon. Nor content with such audacious neighborhood, the wisest heart of Solomon, he led by fraud to build his temple right against the temple of God on that opprobrious hill and made his grove the pleasant valley of Hinnom, Tophet, Fence, and Black Gehenna called the type of hell. He is listed among the chief of Satan's angels in Book 1 and is given a speech at the Parliament of Hell in Book 2, 43 through 105, where he argues for immediate warfare against God. He later becomes revered as a pagan god on earth. So, the Moloch is often de depicted as one of these Illuminati gods. Let's see what um, Illuminati Watcher says about that. The importance of the symbolism is expressed by occultist Manly Palmer Hall in, this, in his book, The Secret Teachings of All Ages. And we can see, was that Katy Perry in this picture throwing up the, the goat horns? All right, this is a symbol for the Illuminati. Right? Freemasonry. See all these people, all these big names. They always have to get, give credit. So it says, In the world of Asiya are to, are to be found the demons and tempters. These are likewise reflections of the ten great globes of Atzeluth, but because of the distortion of the images resulting from the base substances of the world of Asiya, upon which they are reflected, they become evil creatures called shells, by Kabbalists. There are ten hierarchies of these demons to correlate with the ten hierarchies of good spirits composing the Yetziratic Yet world. There are also ten arch demons co corresponding to the ten arch angels of Raya. The black magicians use these inverted spirits in their efforts to attain their nefarious ends, 
but in time the demon destroys those who bind themselves to it. The ten orders of demons and the ten archdemons of the world of Asiya are as follows. D1, the evil crown, the hierarchy is called Thamiel, the doubles of God, the two head, the archdemons are Satan and Moloch, archdemon Moloch, right up there with Satan. It says, evoking these dark entities breaks one down over time to the point that the medium takes on the traits and despises the masses, viewing them as cattle. The victims are destroyed and it affects many others around them. This is why you see public meltdowns from entertainers like Britney Spears shaving her head, Michael Jackson acting the fool, going on spending sprees, Mariah Carey saying goofy stuff on TRL, or one of the many deaths we see. So obviously we can imagine that if you are, um, you have this type of spirit in or around you, you could, you know, at some point ha have enough and want to go back. And uh, I'm sure at that point, this is when some of these people might start breaking down uh, as these spirits overpower them, you know, once you give them power. So, I mean, look at that owl that says, it says it's Justin Bieber's tattoo, and we see Drake. This, he's obviously always got an owl somewhat symbolized all over him. There's Katy Perry with it. So we, we see this all over the place, but, you know, we just didn't look for it. Um, so the one time that I remember realizing this Moloch was something was Bohemian Grove when Alex Jones supposedly broke into it and discovered that they were doing these mock sacrifices and they had this gigantic owl depicted. So I'm going to take a look at the Bohemian Grove story. It says, um, Moloch was the pagan god of the Ammonites and Phoenicians, to whom parents sacrificed their children. They were barbarians. Moloch was the national deity of the heathen Ammonites, a fire god, commonly worshipped throughout the ancient Near East and North Africa by Canaanites and Philistines, Arameans and Semitic people, and later Phoenicians. He was known by many names, all signifying the same false god. There are many different names for Moloch. These names are all referred to the same false god, spelled in various different ways. Melech, Moloch, Milcom, Melcom, Moloch, Molech, Malek, Milik, and so on. Kronos is one of them, Kronos. So there goes your, uh, I think, uh, Greek mythology there. In Islam, Molech is called Malek or Malik, meaning king, believed to be the principal angel in charge of Jan. Nam, the Islamic version of hell. Molech worship was prevalent among the Canaanites when, the Isra when Israel entered the land, evident from the fact that God warned Israel against Molech worship as an abomination the Israelites were forbidden to practice, uh, stated in Leviticus 18.21. An abomination is a sin coupled with disgust. Fire gods like Molech and his fertility goddess consort Ashtoreth exercised captivating powers over the primitive Canaanites. Now, Ashtoreth, I know, is also related to Ishtar and Isis, and they say that it is the female counterpart which is part of the same god. So that's why you get your Baphomet worship, um, the, the two genders mixed into one. It's just she is the female version of. Moloch or Baal. Their pagan worship often led to sacrificing their children upon fiery altars of Moloch. They literally killed their children and burned their bodies in worship of Moloch. Let's see what else do we have here. Ashtoreth. We can get, we'll read a little bit about her. Uh, fertility goddess, consort of Moloch. Ashtoreth is mentioned three times in the scriptures. When Ashtoreth is mentioned in scriptures, she is linked to Moloch. Ashtoreth is mentioned 12 times in the Old Testament. The word is used as the name of a town in ancient Israel. The towns named after the fertility goddess indicated her worship was already widespread when the children of Israel entered the land of Palestine. Moloch represented the male principle of life and reproduction, while Ashtoreth represented the female principle of fertility. So they are one and the same.
just a different aspect. So here, this is some biblical stuff. It says, God, the Lord commanded you shall not give any of your children to offer them to Moloch, and so profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. It says, further child sacrifice to Moloch was considered profanity against God's holy name. I myself will set my face against the man that will cut him off and will cut him off from his people because he has given one of his children to Moloch to make the, my sanctuary unclean and to profane my holy name. So the final mention of Moloch in the Old Testament is found in God's words to Jeremiah. They set up their abominations in the house that is called by my name to defile it. They built the high places of Baal and the valley of the son of Hinnom to offer up their sons and daughters to Moloch though I did not command them, nor did it enter into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. That's Jeremiah 32, verse 34 through 35. Moloch represents the most repulsive of acts in God's sight, the ritual sacrifice of children to a pagan god, which was condemned in the strongest way by the Lord, including punishment by death. Now, when we say sacrifices of children, we think of death, but some of us should understand that it's, it may be a, a moral sacrifice, a, a destruction of a child um, at a young age. You know, some of these children that are being um, convinced that their gender is wrong and they're switching genders, I mean, when they're under 10 years old or whatever, that this is a form of sacrificing your child, um, and it's pretty sad. So I just want to end it with uh, this WikiLeaks Hillary Clinton email. Uh, this is from, looks like 2009. And this is from somebody called Amselli. Uh, I think this... Let's see. I don't know. Let's see what it says. It says, B. had called a little after 1.30 to say the meeting with the de facto envoys had been abruptly canceled. Okay, let's get to what matters. Okay, I don't know. This must have been Hillary Clinton, maybe a response, but whatever this email says, you can go into it. It says, over the past two days, I've fallen into line with the U.S., the Swedes, as as head of the U European Union and have told him that they will take their cue from the U.S. and will support U.S. actions, R.E.S. Behe said was extremely complimentary of the great political instincts shown by Secretary Hillary Clinton. And at the bottom, I'm assuming this has something to do with her, it says, with fingers crossed, the old rabbit's foot out of the box in the attic, I will be sacrificing a chicken in the backyard to Moloch. Um, now sacrifice, these people use code words, sometimes a pizza means a child, sometimes a chicken means, you know, I'm not sure what a chicken means, could be code for something, it could be a chicken, but this has a direct link to Hillary Clinton, who has been thought of as somebody that worships the Baphomet, Moloch, and, uh, yeah, so... I hope you all got a little bit of knowledge from that. You know, we kind of breezed over all that. But if you start looking into it a little bit more, show, uh, let me know what you find in the comments. Um, like, share, subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you all in the future.